Well, in case you slept through the alarm to wake up and watch the lunar eclipse, some of our viewers were kind enough and were up and moving around, so they sent us a few pictures. And a few of them that we're getting in, seen here. These folks were out around 1 o'clock this morning when the eclipse began. Some stayed out for about an hour to see it fully eclipsed and glowing that signature blood red color, hence the name the red moon or the blood moon. This is kind of one of those things where I feel like it's like the polar vortex where a term gets out there and I've seen these before, but I've never heard them just commonly referred to as a blood moon and all of a so sudden. So now it's all the more exciting. Are. Except I kind of like the blood moon a little bit better than the polar vortex. Oh, <laughs> that's a really good point, Sam. You got a good point. I'd rather have that than the cold, but you know, today is going to be cold, but at least it won't be snowing heavily because look at the northern part of our state. Winter storm watch for tomorrow and Thursday. How much are they going to add up? Well, we don't have to worry about snow here, but watch this. Five to ten inches of snow. Oh, we're going into the middle of April and it's still going on. Now, what we're dealing with in some locations on specific rivers is flooding. Flood warning continues for the Sheboygan River in Sheboygan, uh, the uh, Milwaukee River in Ozaukee County, and the Fox River in Kenosha. Those rivers expected to maybe go up a little bit before falling back as the week goes on because we're not going to see much rain this week. Satellite and radar, we did see a couple snow showers, maybe even a little bit of lake enhancement with that. Those have moved on out. They caused some problems. Caitlin's going to be talking about that coming up. But temperatures, uh, we're barely going to make it to the average low today. Yesterday, 39, 38 Minneapolis. Similar temperatures today, and it looks like without the snow. Current temperatures, it's only 21, Waukesha, West Bend, Port Washington, 24 in Milwaukee. Now, satellite radar again, we're getting this system out of here. That was a mess. Now, we got high pressure in charge, keeping us quiet today. Next one out to the west, and that one's going to mainly affect northern Wisconsin, but we're still caught in the cold, going to be well below normal. There's some milder air out to the west that eventually gets here, but today it's going to be a cool one, a couple fair weather clouds. Here comes a milder air, but wind for tomorrow. And there's that snow for northern Wisconsin as we get the system out of here. Behind it, well, it looks like there's another one on the way that's probably going to bring us rain by late week. But as far as today, partly cloudy at times, cool 38. For tonight, increasing clouds. Still going to keep it quiet. That's a little bit on the cool side. Tomorrow, 50 degrees, windy, milder, gusts over 30 miles per hour. And Thursday, maybe a stray shower, but not a wash. So as far as uh, your Thursday, not looking that bad. Friday, though, a better chance of showers, and it's going to get cooler, 42 degrees. And Caitlin, even though the weekend looks cool, it looks pretty quiet. And I think okay. I'll take quiet compared mm -hmm. to last weekend, which was kind of a mess. Absolutely, yeah. No, I'll take quiet and, and moderately warm. Yeah. Thanks, thanks, Vision. Good morning.